The Flash is one of those characters in fiction that may not seem strong at the outset, but when push comes to shove, he optimizes his powers to give you speed and strength, his intelligence to outwork his opponents, all in a manner that anybody watching will barely even know how he did it. And that's the perfect analogy for Hostinger. Fast, resourceful, and reliable. So in today's video, I will be reviewing Hostinger and telling you why it's such a great web hosting platform. And if at any point throughout this video, you're thinking of trying out Hostinger for yourself, then look no further than the link down in the description below that applies a site-wide discount to Hostinger as soon as you click it. So you don't want to miss out on that, especially after you've seen what they have to offer. So back in 2004, Hostinger started out as Hosting Media. And now it's a major player as an employee-owned web hosting provider and domain registrar. Based in Lithuania with a team of over 1,000, it's consistently been one of Europe's fastest-growing businesses. They hit some key milestones like launching Triple O Web Host in 2007, Hosting 24 in 2008, and rebranding to Hostinger in 2011 with Arnas Stuopolis at the helm. I'm sorry if I butchered that name, it's a tough one. Going global, they brought Niagara Hoster to Indonesia in 2013 and Weblink to Brazil in 2014. Then in 2019, in response to what the market wanted, they rolled out Zyro, a no-code website builder. Fast forward to 2023, and Hostinger made waves yet again with the AI website builder. Now with Daugirdes Jankus as the new CEO, they're doubling down on their commitment to innovation and growth, making their mark in the web hosting industry. Now, for those of you thinking of starting a small to medium scale website, then Hostinger's shared web hosting plan is ideal, especially if you use that discount, since you can save up to 81% in some cases and get coverage for 100 websites, a free domain for a year, which otherwise would be $10 upfront, unlimited SSL security, and Cloudflare protected servers, which would put you in the driver's seat as a beginner. Only thing to consider though is that the basic plan does not include a free domain, so that's perhaps the only downside, though if you go with the premium plan, you get 3 months for free, so that also saves you money. But if you ever wanted to scale up or you have a bigger business that experiences higher traffic and requires more resources, then you can go with a cloud hosting plan, which will cost you a bit more, but you're also getting a lot more website coverage and VME storage, which is four times faster than an SSD, and around $45 in value if you consider the combined price of daily backups, a free domain, and domain privacy protection. Not too shabby, eh? Or if you want a balance between resources and speed, you can go with the VPS hosting plan. Now, if you're looking to save some extra change, then I would recommend going with a long-term offer because you spare yourself the renewal rates which just revert back to their original price. And in some cases, you can save up to $500, but you didn't hear it from me. Keep in mind though that if you want to refund a purchase, you should be aware of the things that they will offer a refund for under their 30-day refund policy. Things that are included but not limited to are hosting plans before the free trial ends, SSL certificates, Cloudflare, and daily backup. The things that are excluded are domain name transfers or renewals, redemption fees, or VPS licenses. So you should take a look at the money back policy to be certain. However, one thing that some other hosting platforms don't provide is free site migration. Something that might seem insignificant, but the price definitely isn't, as some other platforms ask upwards of $150. So all things considered, Hostinger is a great choice for beginners and people who already have sites looking to transition. Now let's grab ourselves a virtual shovel and dig into some of the features Hostinger has on display. First and foremost, Hostinger uses Cloudflare to increase your site's efficiency up to 40% making your visitors happy that it loads quickly, and with unlimited bandwidth, you won't notice downtime due to increased traffic on your site. Not to mention that if you purchase a plan with NVMe storage, this only further exacerbates the efficiency of your site overall. Another thing that will help your site out is that Hostinger has servers in multiple countries around this global bars, which helps guarantee high performance and uptime, sustain security, and enable more efficient resource allocation. Don't believe me? Well, why not? I, I wouldn't lie to you. All right, well, in that case, if we take a look at this uptime for Hostinger over the past five years, it's had an average uptime of 99.99%, barring five times it was under that. Now, a good uptime should be at around 99.91%, so only five times in the past five years? Hey, I mean, even the bulls couldn't do that, so that's impressive in my books. And even if you do experience some problems, Hostinger has excellent customer support, which can help you out as soon as you need it. Granted, there is no phone support, 
but their 24-7 chat support is near instant and you can get a personal assistant from your account dashboard to help you with anything you need. And if you need some more tutorials, they offer that as well, with their knowledge base covering anything you would need to know. And in terms of actual website building, Hostinger has a neat tool called Zyro, which I mentioned earlier, that assists you in making and personalizing your websites to your own liking. It's easy to use because it doesn't require knowledge of coding and also offers AI tools to help with the creative process. Not to mention the 24-7 support by virtue of being a Hostinger-owned brand. So be rest assured that you can get the help you need if you're looking for it. Now, one thing that some may see as a con would be the lack of a C panel, but it does have an H panel, which is basically the same thing just newer. What both do is give you easy access to your sites, emails, domains, and much more. The difference between the two is not so much functionality as it is efficiency and design. The H panel is modern and crafted by Hostinger for a sleek experience in the cloud. Meanwhile, C panel, while reliable, is older and running on legacy software and taking up space on each server. Meaning, while more experienced users might be familiar with the C panel, the H panel is more efficient and with its larger icons, easier on the eye. So with all that being said, would I recommend Hostinger? Yeah, I absolutely would. When you consider the price you're paying in comparison to what some other hosting services are offering, you get both a fast and affordable hosting service. It's especially beginner friendly with its H panel and easily accessible customer service to guide you along. Meaning if it's something that you can see yourself using, I would strongly recommend the discount down in the description below because seriously, you're saving so much money and it's nothing short of a steal. At any rate, if you guys enjoyed enjoyed that video, then consider hitting that like button to help get this video to other people also considering hosting her, and also consider hitting that subscribe button while you're down in that neighborhood. As for now, that is all from moi, thank you for watching, and as always, take care of yourself.